optional acoustic echo cancellation module for AHM32 and 64 eliminates echo and feedback issues in teleconferencing applications, whereby the remote caller can hear a copy or echo of their own voice feeding back into the listener's microphone from the listener's loudspeakers. Once the module is installed, the AEC processors are made available in the Input Channel Insert page in System Manager for AHM. 12 AEC processors are available on AHM where each processor can manage the far end and near end channels. To configure AEC, one input channel should be assigned to the local microphone, near end, and one input channel should be assigned to the incoming caller microphone, far end. In System Manager, select the input channel of the local microphone and open the Insert A block. Here, press the Assign AEC Near End button and select one of the available AEC processors. The AEC options now appear in the Insert A block page. Open the Far End Assign menu and select the input channel where the incoming caller microphone or far end is routed. The meter for the far end signal should show around 0 dB for a typical far end source. Once the input channel gain has been set, the gain can be optimized using the far end trim or set to auto to enable automatic gain control. We can now optimize the settings of the AEC. Note that there should not be any dynamic processing such as compression or gating between the far end source and any local speakers. This would prevent the AEC from functioning correctly. Three parameters of the AEC can be adjusted. Adaptive filter, echo reduction and noise reduction. The adaptive filter parameter adjusts the speed at which the AEC operates. This should be set to the lowest possible value that gives acceptable performance. Echo reduction controls further echo cancelling. This should also be set to the lowest possible setting. A high value can cause distortion to the far end receiver. Noise reduction reduces constant background noise from the local room to the far end caller. Once again, the lowest acceptable values should be used. For better rejection of low frequency noise, a high pass filter can be applied on the near end input channel. The far only ducker applies attenuation to the near end signal when the far end only is talking. Comfort noise controls the level of speech shaped noise sent to the far end caller. This is an unobtrusive noise that ensures that the caller never hears a totally silent line, which could be confused with a connection dropout. For applications where multiple microphones are used in the near end, we can use the multi mic functionality of AEC. In the near end AEC page, press the Add AEC multi mic button. Select the AEC processor to be used and assign an input channel to the new AEC. We can now optimize the settings for the second AEC near end. In most applications, the far end settings should be matched across all multi mic AEC processors. For applications where the local microphones also require local reinforcement, it is recommended to use the sound reinforcement or SR output to optimize what is sent to the local reinforcement system. The SR output is sent post AEC, but comfort noise and ducking are not present. To assign an AC channel to an SR output, select the zone that is outputting to the local speaker and open the cross point routing window. Here, click on the edit routing button and select the AC returns tab. You can now assign the AC SR return from the chosen input channel with AEC. Send levels to the SR are managed through this cross point. Send levels to the far end caller are managed with the input channel level fader. If AMM is also required for local reinforcement, the microphone input can be split to two input channels, one for AEC and one for local reinforcement with processing and AMM.